When I initially joined, I had no idea what I was getting into. And I'm sure that I'll look back on this for the rest of my life as one of the greatest things I've done with the U.S. military. Since I was born, since I was raised, it's always been military. It's always been a dream of mine to become part of the United States military and part of the United States Army. And getting the opportunities that I have from the Army has it's been the best decision of my life. Be careful. Recognize the fact that you're getting a headache, you're getting tired, anything like that. I joined the Army because, I don't know, maybe it's a textbook answer, but I wanted to serve my country and do my time. Uh, once I joined, I was in for a little of a rude awakening, you know, wasn't quite prepped for it, but uh, I don't regret it at all. And it was what I wanted, something special, and to be a part of a tight-knit community. There's not a lot of us, so I don't know. I feel like we're kind of like unicorns just walking around sometimes. Some people are like, man, like, we didn't even know you existed, you know? Me and my dive buddy are going to be helping each other out, crossing them, and making sure that we're okay. One of just four remaining survivors from the USS Arizona died Tuesday in California. He was 98 years old. Bronner was the second to last man to leave the USS Arizona before it sank during the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. Today we did the rehearsal for the internment of a U.S. Navy sailor who survived the bombing of Pearl Harbor. He passed away recently and he wanted to be interred on the USS Arizona with his fellow seamen. So the U.S. Army Dive 7th Dive Detachment was selected to help with the ceremony. He was the second to last uh, sailor to exit the Arizona while it was sinking on, during Pearl Harbor. And he is also the last one, as far as we know, who is going to be interred at the Arizona. So that's what makes this event so special. It's very eye-opening that I could be a part of something that, that honorable to take part in the ceremony. And not only take part in the ceremony, but to be the, to be the man that interred him on the USS Arizona. I, I do feel like I have to get this right. I don't feel like I have to get this right. I know I have to get it right. It's just such a huge event to be able to, and an honor to be able to bury this man at the Arizona with so much history that happened, especially with these Mark Fives that have been retired since the 80s. The Mark V is your classic diving hat. Huge part of history. Not too comfortable, but it's worth it. So it just goes along with uh, the time period that Pearl Harbor happened, you know, and um, it's just part of the whole experience, you know. It just makes it that much more special. We're going to have scuba divers descend in the water carrying, carrying the urn. After that, me and the other diver will descend into the turret and um, I'm going to find a nice spot.